Santa Fe police have brought more charges in the toppling of a controversial monument that was the centerpiece of the Santa Fe Plaza. Now three people are facing charges. Newly released police video shows the tense moments on that day. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen is here to show us. Right when officers showed up to the plaza on Indigenous Peoples Day last month, they were met with a lot of resistance from protesters. Video shows the two people charged earlier this week were front and center. Santa Fe police say Lily Schweitzer and Ryan Witt were charged with vandalizing the obelisk after it was torn down, torn down by protesters last month. As officers were trying to get a hold of Schweitzer and Witt, a group of other protesters surrounded the officers, leading to this scuffle. The pair did their best to get the officers to leave. As soon as the officers release the pair, officers get into another scuffle nearby. It didn't take long for the remaining officers to retreat and remove themselves from the plaza to prevent any additional confrontation. But even as officers were leaving, the crowd continued to follow them back to their patrol cars, harassing them. A protester was even heard yelling at the officers to get new jobs. Today, Santa Fe police said they charged a third person for the vandalism, Don Furlong. All three are charged with criminal damage to property. Back to you. All right, Jeannie, thank you. Earlier this week, District Attorney Marco Cerna said he plans on convicting the defendants in this case and does not plan to offer any plea deals.